Welcome back to Maintenance Monday. Now in today's video, I'm gonna explain how to adjust cable actuated disc brakes or operated disc brakes, which are not all that common to find on road bikes anymore. So what actually is a cable actuated disc brake? Well, it quite simply means that the caliper is operated from the lever via the means of a cable, as opposed to a hydraulic system, which is what we quite often see on bikes. Now, in the instance of this bike, to adjust the caliper, we're only gonna need a five millimeter Allen key, meaning we can make the adjustments and changes that we need to do so. Now, these calipers, operate on a single arm or pivot system, which means only the left-hand brake pad is moving as you apply pressure onto the brake lever itself. The right-hand brake pad is in a fixed position and is adjusted using our five millimeter Allen key. Now, if you're finding that your brakes are rubbing, for example, it could be that the caliper itself isn't centralized with the rotor or that the right hand brake pad isn't quite adjusted correctly. That could also be the case if you're finding that the lever is pulling all the way back to the handlebars and isn't operating the brake correctly. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is to check the positioning of the right hand brake pad. Now this needs to be adjusted as close as possible to the disc rotor without making the brake rub. So I can see here, this is spinning and is perfectly fine, but I might be able to adjust it slightly using this little spacer on the back. If I wind that in, we can see that causes the brake pad to rub. So all I need to do is wind that out until it's just before the point of contact. Now in terms of adjusting the lever pull or travel, now because down on the caliper we have this caliper arm, the cable is connected using this pinch bolt. And as such, if we need to reduce the amount of free play we have in the lever, we can take our five millimeter Allen key, loosen the pinch bolt off slightly, and then with our free hand, apply some tension to the cable by pulling downwards. Then holding that tension in place, we can do the pinch bolt back up with our five mil Allen key. Ideally, you should do it to a torque setting of around five to six Newton meters, but providing it's tight enough that it can't slip, it should be okay. There's also an additional adjuster on the caliper here with this barrel adjuster. The idea behind the barrel adjuster is so that the user or the rider can make small changes to the brake as some of the pads wear down. The barrel adjuster is unwound, so anti-clockwise, to add cable tension. And this is the same case for the small adjuster for the right-hand pad where we can use our five millimeter Allen key to just adjust and tweak that pad and move it in closer as the system wears. Now, ideally, you wanna make sure you have a little bit of free play in the lever, but not so much that you can pull it all the way back to the handlebars. If you feel that you've adjusted the brake correctly, so that you have the right amount of pull, but you are still finding the, the caliper or pads are rubbing on the disc rotor, you could try adjusting the two bolts that attach the caliper onto the adapter of the frame. These are done by simply loosening this bolt here at the top off, and then we loosen the lower bolt as well. You don't have to undo it all the way, just enough to take some of that pressure off. And then we can apply the brake up at the lever, firm pull of that and hold that in place, then we can use our five mil Allen key to tighten each of the bolts up correctly. Now, the torque setting for these is around eight Newton meters, but you just need to ensure that they're tight so there's no risk of the caliper working its way loose. Having tightened the bolts up, you can release the brake and then spin the wheel to check that you haven't got a rubbing brake anymore. So there you go, how to adjust cable disc brakes within the space of a few minutes. I hope you found this maintenance video helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And why not let me know in the comments section down below if there are any other maintenance videos you'd like to see. And to keep an eye out for those, remember to subscribe to GCN Tech.